Hello, YouTube brothers and sisters. Want to uh, try anyway to do a little reading here? Psalm 25. It's pretty cool, um, and it's a really good listen. I think if you take the time to listen to it. Um, Psalm 23. For those of you who don't know is the one where it is the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want and yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me David is saying to God because you are with me and your rod and your staff they comfort me so I'm not worried about walking through the valley of the shadow of death let's do it he said right let's do it because he knows God's with him right all right well Psalm 25 also David um, <clears throat> and this is Psalm 25 unto thee O Lord do I lift up my soul oh my God I trust in thee let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, Thy tender mercies, thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment. And the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. O oh, bring me, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look mine affliction, look upon mine affliction, and my pain and forgive all my sins consider mine enemies for they are many and they hate me with cruel hatred O oh, keep my whole soul and deliver me let not let me not be ashamed for I put my trust in thee let integrity and uprightness preserve me for I wait on thee redeem Israel O oh God out of all his troubles Amen. That's such a <clears throat> that's a nice basically prayer, you know, because he's talking to God, so Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all of the day. On thee do I wait all the day. Are you watching for the Lord? On thee do I wait all the day. Right? All the day, every day. That's all he wants. This is David. He walked with David. You walk with me and you talk with me. Right? I don't know the rest of that song, but whatever. Um, God loved David. 
said he was a man after his own heart. And David, um, like he said, forgive my sins of my youth and my transgressions and my inequities and all the terrible things I've done, he said. Right? Because he was a human being, he was a man. And he was in, back in the day days, right? I mean... We get too caught up in the bondage of the sin thing, right? Um, everybody's guilty, feeling guilty, being guilty, trying not to be guilty, trying to feel less guilty, trying to be innocent, not sin, don't sin, quit sin, and uh, sin, 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 sin. None of that said, hey, I should be not sinning, or he said, forgive me for my sins, Father, I have sinned, but thanks to your grace, I can just walk with you, talk with you, all day, right, that's what it says, we're focusing on the wrong stuff, I think, is the problem. Can you imagine if all of the Christians in the world, that everybody that said they believed on Jesus, right? Just talk to God all day. About everything. One more verse. Still pretty short video. I think I just saw it. Titus 2.13 Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. 2.14 Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. He did it. He did it all, guys. Because he loves us. Just trust him and love him back. Love him back, trust him, however you want to put it. Faith is trust, so believing on something you can't prove, you just got to have faith and believe on it, so, alright guys, I love you, I should give you just in case you're a stranger here, you've never seen it before, here's the gospel that gets you to where I'm at, where you get to be saved and go to heaven for sure, is knowing and believing that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that he is the one and only Son of God. That He died on that cross to pay our sin debt. It's paid in full. It's a full propitiation, it says. When He died on the cross, He was buried and was raised again from the dead three days later, as Scripture said. And He was seen by many, as Scripture said. If you believe that in your heart, and you profess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, Bible says you're saved. It actually makes it a lot simpler than that. It says profess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He's the Messiah. The real Messiah. He's going to come on the clouds. Nobody's going to go, oh, he's over here, he's over there. That's not him. You'll know when he's coming. <clears throat> You believe in that, you're safe. You're going to heaven. It's, it's that easy. And trust me, I'm a witness to God that it's real. He completely changed my heart to give me a new heart, new mind. It's not an instant. It's an instant salvation. You're saved. You get a new heart and mind, and then it's a growth process. That's why you're called a babe in Christ, because you have to learn. Go through more trials and tribulations and 
I reckon it to being like a sword being made, you know. Put it in the fire, take it out, beat it, put it back in, take it out, beat it, do that a few times, and then you anoint it in some oil. And you take it out and then you gotta sharpen it. And then you gotta hone it. Takes a little bit before the sword's ready, and then it can go off into battle. And these things take time, right? If you speed it up too much, you make a brittle sword and it goes out in battle and it's broken first time, right? I love you guys. God bless.